All right, tell me if you've had these thoughts. I post good content. I work hard on it, but I cannot seem to move the needle on my follower account. Are you not seeing growth in your followers? There might be a few reasons. What's going on, familia? Welcome back to your channel. My name is Ar Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez. Now, this is a men's style and lifestyle channel, but today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to talk about Instagram and more specifically why you're not growing on the platform. As you guys saw before the intro, my good friend David K or Thrillability is going to be helping me out with this video. David is a really good friend of mine. He is a really good creator. I actually did a video on his channel which should be released today as well. So you guys can go ahead and check that out over there. I will have the link down in the description. If you have any questions, even after you watch this video, feel free to go ahead and reach out in our DMs. So in this video, we're going to talk about the five reasons why people don't grow on Instagram. We'll also give you the solutions to those problems and ways to grow. So make sure you stick around to the very end. The very two last ones are probably the most important ones. So let's go ahead and jump in. Don't want to listen. I think this is a big one. It's about being consistent. Just by showing up, you're already 90% on the way there. Being consistent on social media is a great way to just continue to gain a following. When people know that you're going to be posting, whether it be every single day, maybe other other day, maybe just on the weekends, whatever it may have you, by being consistent, you also find exactly what content reaches and engages the most with your audience. So if you're just starting off, this is a great way to find out what content resonates so if you post more you find out exactly what pattern is you know it could be like an outfit it could be like a recipe it could be anything you want you want to just be consistent so you can start finding patterns as well before getting into the next reason why you're not growing on instagram if you're liking this video so far go ahead and give me one of these down below definitely helps this channel grow I appreciate the love. Man, I totally agree with you. The only thing I would add is that you have to find the right consistency for you, whether that's every day or three to five times per day for posting. Here's the other thing. If you get too focused on the numbers, it's going to make it hard to focus on anything else. So you sacrifice the quality of your content and all other work that you're doing. I just went through this and I'm coming out of it, but I would post something, check the post, see that it wasn't growing, get disappointed by it, and then ask myself why it wasn't doing well, why it wasn't growing, and just head into a major tailspin. Worst of all, I was mad at myself for being mad about it. I'm not gonna lie and say that the numbers don't matter at all because they do help brands recognize you and get work, but they are not everything. The hardest and probably most critical lesson to learn is that a like, a comment, a follow, None of them define your worth and they never will. Your following is not your worth. You are worthy without it. I challenge you to ask yourself, what if you never got a follower, a like, or a comment ever again? How would that make you feel? Comparing your numbers to other people's numbers isn't gonna make you feel better either. I've compared myself to Ivan numerous times and I know I'll never be as suave as him. If you get stuck in that comparison game and you're stuck on a particular individual, I recommend sending them some positivity. So blow up their posts with likes, comments, positive things, and send them a message to get you out of that frustrating hole and send some positivity. So the best way to grow is to focus on the quality you put out, the community you're building, and the impact you're making. What do you think, Ivan? I completely agree with you, David. I definitely think that by overthinking your numbers, I think that you're not focusing on the bigger picture. And I also think that by bogging down on the numbers you're not focusing and you're not being creative which is ultimately what you want to do no matter what niche it is whether it's style cooking tech unicorn lovers your niche is a community and you should be a part of it it's literally believed that you alone can grow you had to have and build a community with your audience so this is what i do and it's helped me not only grow my instagram but it's also helped me discover more creatives in my niche such as David. So basically what I'll do is I'll look up a specific hashtag, maybe a hashtag that I personally use on my post. Thereafter I'll start looking through just a few different posts, maybe like the top nine. It doesn't have to be the top nine. If you have more time you can go through uh, and just scroll down. I wouldn't recommend going towards bigger hashtags, cater more towards 
hashtags that are more niche down or maybe like towards the follower account that you have because if you start going into big hashtags that have like a million like posts in it you're going to find just nothing but bigger accounts you want to find people that are more in your follower account and then that way you can start building a relationship what i do thereafter is i'll go through and like some pictures don't overdo this it's creepy and just leave a comment genuinely and i move on and i do that for a few more accounts again i do this genuinely and i do not just start liking random accounts after what i do is i'll go ahead and send them a dm and then i'll just say maybe something like i like your style stuff like that and then both of you can have a conversation back and forth and then guess what you've already built one more person in your community this next one is super important yo david tell them about value man community is like 90 percent of why i do this i would not have met as many good people in any other way one key is to not look at your followers as numbers each follower is a person that you can go out and connect with and you should connect with people outside of your current community you really want to grow then you need to bring some value to the table. There's definitely a difference between someone who posts just to post because they take cool pictures and someone who pours all their creative energy into a piece of content to inspire their audience. And that difference is value. What are you bringing that's valuable to every piece of content you make? Do you center yourself in your content or do you give something for your audience to take away from it? When I watch or read content, I wanna be able to connect with the creator, take something away or learn something, or feel something based on what they've created. I mean, I'm scrolling through Ivan's page right now, and what I love is that there's tips for actually styling, and as well as videos where I can go and learn more from him. That's the kind of value that I love to see. Number five, why should people follow you? Ultimately, I think people disregard this one question. Why should people follow you in the first place? A lot of people feel like they have like the best content out there, and you might. You may have the greatest content on Instagram, Nevertheless, if you're not doing the first four, people might not be finding you for that great content. Are you educating people? Are you making them feel a certain way? Are you entertaining them in any way? Now, this isn't a question that can be answered for you and it definitely can't be answered in this video. But maybe now you can just take a second to reflect and maybe take a look at your content and actually ask yourself those critical questions. I hope you found this video useful. Unfortunately, there isn't just a quick easy button or hack to hit 100K followers. All of us work in our own ways to build a community and an audience. Ivan, thanks for having me on your channel. I hope I can be back soon. There you go, Familia. Those were the five reasons why we think people aren't growing on Instagram. I hope you guys find this video very helpful definitely share it with one friend that may need to hear this information and maybe help them grow on instagram as well again if you like this video go ahead and give it one of these down below also make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification to receive notifications every time i post a new video also remember to go and subscribe to david's channel also make sure you follow him on instagram he has incredible content over there also go to his channel to go and check out the video that we did together it's on bold style so if you guys are looking to up your bold style go ahead and check that out over there and next week's video i'll be teaching you guys how to wear a t-shirt with a suit so you don't want to miss that one i appreciate you guys this time and as always style up thanks so much for watching this video if you haven't joined la familia yet go ahead and hit the button up there and i have another recommended video for you right over there and as always, Stella.